When Craig and I started talking about Dune, we decided that we really needed uh, different, unique visions for each of the uh, locales of Dune. There's the Imperial planet, there's the planet where the Baron lives, there is the planet where the Atreides come, which is Dune. And on Dune, there is the Fremen communities, which we are exploring in great detail in this movie. And in order for us to understand the difference culturally from one to the other, we had to do that with visual cues. And so Kreika has come up with architectural design, which basically in a glance tells you the difference between the Harkonnen and the Atreides, between the palace of the Imperial Emperor Shaddam and the Fremen communities in the deep desert. And I was determined when we did Dune to uh, enrich the story by the cultural life of these different communities. And the first way of doing that was with the architecture. So we have a very stylized look to this movie, which gives you a, in, an immediate sense of where you are. The planet Kaitain where the Emperor lives, which is very Art Nouveau, very elegant, lots of golds and lots of purples. Uh, the planet Gady Prime where the Harkonnen live. Reds, raked angles, very severe uh, cutting kinds of joins of, of uh, pieces of architecture, uh, giving you a very uncomfortable look. And then Vittorio has, has created a lot of raked angles within that to give you even more sense of unease. And then you come to the, pal the, uh, the palace uh, in Arakeen, which is this elegant desert Moroccan palace in the middle of nowhere, uh, which has stood for centuries and centuries. And you can almost feel the fact that this is an ancient place. And then you get out into the Fremen communities where the sieges are and you see how they cook and how they live. It's not just that they've dug holes in the walls and live in caves, they've actually created enormous uh, bas-relief on the walls, uh, not unlike uh, in the deserts of Jordan. Uh, and uh, I think that all of those different environments will be, first of all, instantly recognizable, but also will give you, as I say, at one look, a sense of who these people are and what their history is. It's been a phenomenal experience because uh, he has been able to take what I created on paper and what I discussed intellectually and turn it into a, uh, a visual feast. Uh, the reason I wanted to work with Vittorio was because I've always loved the application of light and color that he uses in all of his films as story elements. It's not just about creating a nice composition, although he's a master of that, and it's not always about how you just move the camera in order to be at the right place at the right time for the story element. It's how you encourage the emotion of the scene by the way you light it and the way you color it. And uh, Vittorio has made it his career to understand the psychology of color and light. And there's no better project for that than doing.